Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me. I got another one of those amazing creepy crate. Well, I assume it's an amazing creepy crate. The other creepy crates I've gotten are all have all been fantastic. I usually I usually get a book. I've got some great horror movie memorabilia that you can't get anywhere else. So I'm excited to see what's in here. Uh, if you've never heard of Creepy Crate, you can go check out all the old videos, of course. But you can also go to the link in the description box below this video and get some more information. Um, it's a subscription box by the website The Lineup, which is one of the best websites that you can to get. It's one of the best websites to get lost on. You can go down the rabbit hole, reading so many other articles. I I think they're great. So check out the lineup and definitely check out their uh, subscription box. And if you're looking for a great Christmas present that you know comes multiple times throughout the year, this is the this is the best subscription box you can get them. So. All right, so let's check out what we got this time around. Okay. So I, I just got a new camera, so I'm going to do my best to keep everything in frame. I'm going to take the Creepy Crate uh, list and keep it on my side. First up, okay. It is a pin for the Losers Club, which, oh, and it's 1958, so... That's from the movie It, if I'm not mistaken. That is pretty cool. All right, next up. Well, it's from Pan's Labyrinth, and I'm going to look up what it is. It's the Pale Bam. Oh, it's a phone wallet. So, oh, okay, so it blocks RFID stuff. You know what I mean. It's, it's, it, it protects your phone, so that's pretty cool. Because that guy was that guy was terrifying in the Pan's Labyrinth, which is an excellent movie. What else we got here? Oh, <laughs> it's a ball opener with a skull on it. This is pretty heavy duty. That's gonna be coming handy during the Christmas holidays, I'm sure. Because like a sniff of port at Christmas, as Homer Simpson like to say, likes to say. That's a that's an old Simpsons quote. That's from like ooh. Over 30, just about 30 years ago. Okay. Anyways, I digress. All right. So the next is a, is a lunch pail for, and says, I'm here for the cold case. Uh, I don't, I work from home, but this is still can be helpful. I'm pretty sure you can fit in, you know, four to six beers in there and it'll keep it cold. So, and then it's, it's a different type of cold case. Whew. I hope that joke landed. I, <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm gonna, all right, next up. We have a DVD called Hex Hollow, Witchcraft and Murder in Pennsylvania. And it, according to the legend, it says in 1828, Nelson Remeyer was murdered in his home. Soon the small town spiraled into accusations of witchcraft, curses, and worse. This fascinating documentary investigates the murder and the town itself, and is sure to please any true crime nut. So, that sounds like uh, something t they touch on. We touch a lot on in uh, criminal listed. So, murder, small town, witchcraft. So, maybe you'll see this story featured in criminal listed. But you should go check out the documentary yourself and let me know what you think of it. And let's see what else do we got here. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky, who is the author of the amazing The Perks of Being a Wallflower. And if I'm not mistaken, he also wrote, did he write a monster call, a monster called? Maybe not. Okay. Definitely he wrote The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which is great. Uh, I've heard of this book and I'm excited to read it. Maybe during Christmas. Who knows? If you've read it, let me know what you think about it in uh, the comments. I'd love to hear what you think about the book and Stephen Chbosky. And if, if, if Stephen Chbosky is watching this and I mispronounce his name, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, but it wouldn't be a criminal listed video unless I pronounce someone's name wrong. So um, I think... Oh, no. Hold on a second. There should be something else in here. Oh.
<laughs> it is a chicken. <laughs> it's a keychain from the movie uh, Alien featuring a xenomorph. So I'm amazed I remember that. That's that they're called xenomorphs. I I like that movie. That movie. The the good movies of the Alien franchise. I like those ones. And I like some of the bad ones too, actually, now that I think about it. So, but anyways, another great box, book, DVD. So I'm going to be busy for a while. Um, let's see if I can get everything set up here. Oh. Lots of great stuff. All right. And it all falls apart. Surprise, surprise. Anyways, thank you so much for to the lineup and um, and their subscription service. Creepy Crate for sending me another great box. Check out their website in the information in the description box below. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.